Mm. So, um, <coughs> today I'm going to replace the wireless card to a Intel 7260 wireless AC card in a HP 2288SA. So first thing, take the battery out. Batteries always make sure you get the battery out and you have no static tar charge. Make sure you do that by having either a static band or touch to the metal, which is probably grounded. Now this, with the panel to open the computer, is spring loaded, so you know you need to take it out a bit, and it should just slide down and lift off. And lift off like it's a space station. Um, so here's the wireless card, if you can have a bit of a zoom into there. So that's the wireless card there. That's my old one. That is a Raylink RT5390, right? So first thing we need to get these the two antennas up by just probably pinching them off. They should come off quite fairly easily. Or you can tug on the wires there. You got it off. Just push them to a the side. They can get in the way. Um, just get your screwdriver. Get the screw off. I only have one screw. This is a PCIe. Ex PCI, PCIe half size card. This came off. Right. Get that there. Pull the card out. Just, it can't, lifts at a 45 degree angle. And it should just lift off, just like RAM, if you've changed RAM before, which is this stuff. And take the screw out. Keep the screw on one side. Put your wireless card somewhere else. Now, get, your in, get the Intel card. Enter it. With the notch, there's a little notch there. They have some there. It should just autofocus. See the notch? Right, so there's a little notch just over there. And your wireless card should just pop in there. 45 degree angle. Get your screw. Just pop your screw in. Screw should just pop in. Yeah, just hold it down and just, oh, this part can be quite fiddly sometimes. Some, do you find it easier, just, sometimes you can hold it down and put the screw in, just screw it in, don't over screw it, it's important that you don't over screw it. So when you feel a bit of resistance, just stop. There you go, I felt a bit of resistance there. Now, with this one, now obviously with the HP, they have the wires, have labels saying one and two. This says two and this says one. I don't know if you see it very well. But never mind. Now this ignore that. These are white one is the main and the black one's auxiliary. Now on the Intel card if you have a zoom in, just really close zoom in here, lay it auto focus. It says here main and it says auxiliary over here. That's important. Black one's your auxiliary so you just put the cable on there. It's like a nine volt battery. If you ever had used one of them before, just line it up and just click it down. You should just press it down and it clicks into place. A bit of wire management is always appreciated. It can be a bit fiddly because the other card was the other, the both the jacks were the other way around, so it can be a bit fiddly with the cable. But you should be able to get it after a while. A bit of wire management. Cable management, whatever you want to call it, can be a bit annoying. This oh, missus is going to, the missus is going to try it. Make sure it's nice and securely in there. That's not in there properly, it's just lean on the top. There'll be up this little notch over here. This is from I don't have any editing skills, so I'm not going to be able to edit this out. There you go, just like that. And the other one, which is this one, just put this under there. So, and this one shouldn't be so hard because it's not as fiddly as the other one. Should just pop in. And there you go. Oh no, 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 maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, it's going to be fiddly. Right, that's in now. That's definitely in. Right, so that's in. Make sure you do do make sure you do take off the the um, 
old drivers before you do install the cart. Have your other drivers download it and make sure that's in. If your card doesn't, if it if it card's recognised on your computer and it isn't switching on, chances are you put it in, put the wires in wrong. I had that the first time I've done it. Um, so basically, just close it up. Make sure you got the drivers in. Get the Bluetooth drivers as well. Don't just get the wireless ones. I recommend getting the software as well. That's probably quite useful. And just tighten up when you tighten this up. Don't tight, over tighten it. Spring load as soon as you feel a bit resistant. Stop. And there you go. That's it. Hope you hope this has helped. Thank you. Oh, I've been told by the missus to put battery in. And there you go. Happy days.